Welcome back, true believers. This is Raktar, and today I'm going to be playing some more Super Mario Galaxy Survival Custom Map of Epic Fun Coolness. The really fun map that I've been doing. That's the that's the map that I'm going to be playing is the the fun one. The one that I enjoy is the map that I'll be playing today. But anyway, in today's episode, I need to make a shovel. That's what I need to do in today's episode, among other things. Where did I put a- I feel like I put a crafting table out here somewhere. Yep, there we go. Because there's not one in the horse or house, as they like to say in English. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I forgot that I can do that now. Check this out. Dude, I should build some diamond tools. But, uh, I'm always wary about building diamond tools because... Um, why am I wary about building diamond tools? I'm always wary about building diamond tools because of stupid stratosphere survival. Where I always lose all my diamond tools because I'm a total idiot. But, I mean, realistically, that's not stratosphere survival's fault. That's my fault. Also, I feel like I should mention in this episode, there's something I was going to mention. Oh yes, so in the last episode somebody pointed out um, a reasonably rare occurrence in my videos, but it actually probably happens more than you think, it's just not as loud. Um, they heard a car pulling away from my uh, pulling away from my apartment complex, and that's because the one of the gentlemen who drives a truck nearby me doesn't know... Oh! <laughs> doesn't know that... When you are driving, you don't have to... What do you not have to do when you're driving? You don't have to, like, rev your engine every time you pull away. And he just likes to make it known that he's got a truck with a loud old engine. So he always kind of, like, revs it up as he's driving away, which, you know, it's kind of annoying, but it's okay. It's okay. But yeah, somebody was like, Raktar, what was that... They, just, like, commented. It's like, Raktar, what was that loud roar at the end of the video? And I listened, and at first I was like, I don't know, so I had to crank it up in my headphones, because, like, you hear it as, like, a rumbling, but it wasn't really clear what the sound actually was. And, like, the more I listened to it, I was like, oh, that's definitely the dude with the truck pulling away, getting my pinky on that shift button right now for deadly protection. You know, speaking of the shift button, I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing my first parkour map series coming up. Pretty soon, I talked to a couple guys with channels, and we're going to do, like, a co-op. It's not a co-op map, we're just going to do it co-op, it's a parkour map. And it's pretty, it's going to be pretty cool. And I better get my shift button ready, because that's pretty much the deal with parkour. I always like to build my tree farms like this, just kind of a few spaces away. We'll do three trees right now. This isn't, like, full-blown Treeville Minecraft, so I don't really need to worry as much as usual. Put some torches next to those. Alright, cool. So, important stuff needs to be done today. And that important stuff, I guess for uniformity's sake, I'll put dirt blocks here instead of these freaking cobblestone blocks. I would like to try and get, like, a star in every episode at least, but uh, that may not always happen, especially in these earlier episodes. I did manage to get stars the last two episodes, but in these earlier episodes I will be getting that farm set up because... You know, I did talk about a farm. I mean, I guess the wheat farm I could just put right here and just kind of get it going right now. Which is a good idea. Oh yeah, I've got a golden hoe! Which, kind of worthless, but we'll, we'll use it. We'll get rid of all of its sweet golden hits. And then we'll get the other hoe out. Get my hoes. I've got hoes in- dude, I, said, I already made that joke. I was about to say, I've got hoes in different area codes, but like, no I don't. I already pointed out that I do not in a previous episode when I said that exact same thing. Alright, so we don't need a huge wheat farm, I mean... But I do want a reasonably sized wheat farm. We'll just do a little... L yep, see, I was like, there goes that gold... That's that gold hoe. Do you th what do you think uh, would last me longer, the gold hoe or the stone hoe? I mean, realistically, neither of them are the best of hoes. Oh, dude, I I just remembered something. I actually noticed in the last episode while I was editing. No, I didn't even notice it while I was editing. I actually noticed... Oh, crap. 
I noticed while I was looking at the the guy the guy who told me about the loud noise I was looking for the loud noise and I noticed that I should bring a fishing pole. I could bring a little fishing hole. I could build a little fishing hole at my house. But anyways, uh, I was looking for the loud noise, and I was like, "Oh, stupid Rakdar! You left the seeds in the other box because you're super dumb. Why do you do things, Rakdar? Why do you ruin yourself with anger and hatred?" All right. Oh wow, I've already got a tree. Oh my gosh, I love that super tree. You know, and you know, what's really fun about this is the guy already has done to the map what I do to the map. I always put a box in the ground next to my tree farm where I put my saplings and uh, usually all my wood products, product, where I put all my wood stuff and my saplings. So I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, well, that's convenient. I can just build my tree farm the way I usually do and whatever. So yeah. I've got seven seeds, but we're about to get a bunch of seeds, because what I'm going to do, I've got tons of bone meal. You know what I should use all this bone meal on, though, to be 100% honest, is um is watermelon. But to, also, to be honest, I always make, like, once I start doing watermelon, I never eat any other food, which, I mean... Realistically, once you're doing watermelon, there's really no reason to eat any other food. Except for the fact that it doesn't heal a lot of chicken nuggets, so I guess that's one reason. But I will save some of this and I'll make a couple melons over here. To kind of balance out my farm. And then, like, what I'll do is, I'll make a wheat farm and I'll put melons around the edge. So they will plop down... They will plop down melonly in a melon... You know what? Oh, you know what I can do? I can put the melons... I can put six melons right here and then make the rest wheat and then the melons will have, um... like a place to topple over in their melon way that they do. And then I can do whatever. So let's... Whoop melon seeds. Alright, cool. And then once... I guess I'll have to... with my first round of melons... There we go. Beautiful. Alright, and I've got one more bone meal, but I will save that for my last melon. Although, I mean, there's a skeleton- oh! Ho ho ho! More bone meal. Looks like we can get some more wheat going, too. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what I love to see. Alright, there's... oh yeah, we're saving that last one. The last one must be saved. Alright, cool. So! Now that I've done that, oh, it's almost nighttime, but I can start... Alright, so where do I want to go next? I've got all kinds of good stuff here. Boom. Alright, cool. Uh, do I have bridge building supplies? I do. Uh, yes, I do. I totally have bridge building supplies. But I should probably store some of this crap and maybe sleep. In case, like, I've had bad luck before with falling off of bridges while I'm building them because, like, my keyboard goes out or something. Which is, it's one of those things where uh, it's never guaranteed to happen, so I don't know why it's a fear of mine, but I still always think to myself, what if it happens this time, you know? What if, what if I fall off this bridge, right? Let's get rid of all the stone. Probably shouldn't take the iron. I won't be needing a shovel on the bridge. I technically won't need an iron pickaxe, an iron sword. I won't need a stone hoe. You know what I should do, actually? I just had an idea thought. And that idea thought was, oh, we can <laughs> bump some tunes. But that wasn't, oh, oh, it's Maul. And we can go to sleep. And then when I wake up, I'm going to bump those tunes again and build a bridge. <laughs> I'm going to bump some tunes. Oh, oh yeah. Smooth Maul music and smooth melon. Beautiful. And, oh. I hear a skeleton. Did one spawn overnight? Maybe I don't actually hear a skeleton. I think I'm making stuff up. Alright, so we're gonna listen to Maul. Five melon. I only need one melon seeds. And... Planty planty. There we go. Plantarific. Now I just need that last bone meal. Good thing I saved it. 
Oh man. Check out the feast farm. We're gonna be feasting here in no time. So, I'm kinda curious what that sign says, so what we'll do first is... Build a- oh. I remember what I was gonna do. I was going to- dude, you know what this sound mall- this song mall kind of sounds like? Is, um... What does it sound like? I need nine cobblestone. So I can build a furnace. Oh, I need eight, and that's exactly how many I have. That's perfect. Perfect Perfectamundo Lundo. I love that. Alright. So let's get eight cobblestone, make a little furnace. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to get an infinite uh, coal source going here. Alright, 20 should be enough to get all that going, and I've got more trees, so... It's no biggie. It's no biggie. Alright, cool. And then we're gonna find out what the sign says. And of course, I'm gonna be doing it in that two wide bridge fashion that old Raktar loves to do things because of his childhood experience with dogs. Whoa, what? Did you see that? Did I, am I the only person that just saw like a zombie just like glitch? Dude, I'm gonna like zoom in and slow motion that. Whoa, I hear so many zombies nearby, like it's, this is so weird what's happening right now. I hear an Enderman, I hear zombies, I hear skeletons. I think they're inside this little, um, egg, to be 100% honest. So I'm gonna have to, it's wool, wool, wool wool, and I'm gonna have to break in there and show them who's boss, like the cops or something, like, these zombies want to mess me up. And I'm listening to Maul right now, dude, I'm actually digging this song. Diggin' Maul. Alright, so we'll bring Smite because I hear zombies. So my Smite Sword is actually a good thing to bring. Bring all my apples, might as well. Mm. Is that really, is that all I want for now? Yeah, I'll come back and get the Iron Pickaxe because I don't want to lose it if I like fall off something. So I'll come back and get the Iron Pickaxe if I find Diamond. And I'll probably like cut away when I do it. Alright. The Good Egg Galaxy. Is this the whole galaxy, or is this the Good Egg Galaxy? Because this doesn't look like the Good Egg Galaxy. That looks like the Bumblebee Galaxy. Alright, so let's see what's inside here. Oh, there's... Oh, yeah. Ho oh, ho, man. There's a chest down there. And there's definitely, like, an Enderman. Oh, so okay. Should I pour the lava down there? Huh. Whoa, what is hurting that zombie right now. So we got creepers, skeletons. What I'm really worried about is the skeletons because, um, and the creepers. Shite. I'm worried about everything. We're gonna, okay. <laughs> Forget this. We're going to get in the lava bucket. I'm gonna cut to that really quickly. All right, I have returned with the lava bucket, but something is still killing these guys down here. Wow, and even more stuff is spawning. All right, so what we'll do is we'll break this sign right here. Because what I'm afraid of is going down there and having the skeletons shoot me. So, this will just pull up- Oh, whoa, 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 no, no, what happened? What just happened? What just happened? No! Fuck! How did that light me on fire? Oh, it must- it lit the wool on fire. Oh, gosh, I know exactly. Oh, man. I forgot that wool- I'm so stupid. Wool can get set on fire. Well, that's definitely going to kill all the monsters. Well, <laughs> oh jeez, alright, let's go make another bucket and pick up that lava. Wow, sometimes, dude, sometimes you're probably like, oh, people must be like, when they watch me, they must like stare at the screen. And be like, Raktar, what, no, Raktar, that is the worst idea you are doing. Literally the stupidest possible thing you can do right now. And I'm just sitting there like, Hey, check out what I can do, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Raktar Forgets How to Play Minecraft because he's a fucking noob. Oh, man. Well. Well. Let's get my lava back. And, of course, that probably burned up my... Uh, <laughs> That probably burned up my, um, the chest. 
But I thought the ch- I thought chests can't burn up, like, but I'm probably wrong about that. Somebody will probably also be like, uh, yeah, Rakdar, chests can be burned up. You're just an idiot. So, you know, let's get some dirt blocks. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, man, this is so terrible. This is just awful, what I've done to myself here. Like, how do... You can't build downwards. Um... Phew. How is that creeper still alive in there, by the way? That's what I really want to know. Alright, so I gotta get down there somehow. Because the chest probably has a gold block in it. Um. If that creeper weren't still, like, alive down there, I would... Nah, I'm doing it. Here we go. Okay, so the creeper's just glitched right there. Alright, cool. Can I? I'm trying to see if I can open the chest. Ah! Oh, <laughs> what? Oh! Oh, crap. Oh, I forgot when you open your inventory. <laughs> when you open your inventory, you, um... What do you do? You stop shifting. You stop, uh, crouching. So there wasn't even a... There wasn't even a gold block in there. Well, at least we have a pretty lava fountain to look at for the rest of time, peoples. So, and I lost my cool enchanted sword with smite. All for these spawn eggs. But, these are not bad things. These are good things because the creator of the map put these here so you, now I can, like, make, um, I can get all the wool I want. I can get all the pigs, so, like, food, um, leather armor, since I don't have any leather armor now. <laughs> all by farming. Well, that's neat. All right, so let's get retooled. Um, need an axe, but I don't have any cobblestone. But I can make a cobblestone generator if I actually really wanted to, which is pretty neat. Well, wellity, wellity, wellity. Look at the little situation I put myself in. Let's. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate it when I do super stupid stuff like that, but I always do it. Okay. Get my sticks out. Um, I don't have enough iron. Oh! Check it out, peoples. I'm gonna be stupid and make diamond tools that I'm gonna lose at some point. I'll make a diamond sword, I guess, is probably a good thing to have. But, seriously, with my track record, I'll probably end up, like, destroying these things in some way. I'll make an axe because I don't have any good, I don't have any axe right now. Um, I've already, so, I mean, a hoe is not that hard to make. I'm sure I'll run into more stone over there. And, oh, pff, tons of stone over there, so that's not even a concern of mine. So we'll put the rest of the diamond in here. Um, hmm. I'm thinking of how to best prepare myself. All right, we'll leave the diamond sword for now. And get out a pile of dirt for, oh, no, no, we can, well, I guess we'll build the bridge with dirt. <laughs> Why not? So, that's probably the best spot to build to. And he probably purposely made it so the, dirt, the good egg galaxy was just about at the right distance. Huh. Where did he intend to build to? Was it over there? Is that where he... No, there's no way that he intended me to build in like a big right angle when I could just go straight there. And you're allowed to break blocks on the map. So, I'm just going to go this way. I've got a farm. Oh, I should probably bring a food source with me. And I should probably build too wide so magical dogs don't appear and somehow um, push me to my death. That would just be bad. Okay, so yeah, this is the next galaxy. It's got a chest there. Oh, there's all and there's glowstone. All right, cool. Well, anyways, I think that this is a good time for me to uh, fail segue into uh, <laughs> into a little break since. I'm not doing so hot at the moment. So, with that failure in fresh in your minds, this has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.